wanted to um, talk to you a little about uh, model building. So I'm really excited about our discussion on Wednesday about uh, tectonics and thinking about um, your line, your mass and line project and inspired me to get started building a model. And, um, you know, so this is, this is mass and line but uh, is in a way that, that I tend to do it. But I want to, um, I want to focus primarily on model building. You know, so this video is, is more about how to uh, create architectural models and some of the considerations there. But to begin with, I've got, um, I built this form. Uh, it is mass, you know, mass as heavy objects you know, these three pieces interrelated in wood, heavy, um, and then some lighter, lighter objects connected. Um, in my, in this case, the edges of the objects are forming lines. The mass is, is then what happens in between the edges and the density of the material. But, um, let's start off here with, um, with an intro to model building. So this, this model I made in the workshop, in the wood shop here, and I don't know what uh, type of studio spaces you have. If you have a wood shop, if you do, you can make something like this. You can also use these same principles though in building out a cardboard and, uh, and modeling clay. And I'm going as well as uh, balsa wood sticks and things like that. But uh, the concepts are generally the same. But I think in terms of model building, we can we should talk about materials and methods. There's a variety of materials here. The pine is the white. Um, the oak is this dark. This is fir plywood down here with a piece of uh, um, museum board black that's been laminated to it. And here's my little scale figure. It's important that we understand the scale. This guy is one eighth inch equals a foot, and so the overall height, you know, is probably about 40 or 50 feet. Um, and, you know, so all of that comes into play. This piece of plexiglass is one of my favorite materials. This model, by the way, is I used, uh, you know, wood joinery for this, slotted connections. And as you can see, nothing here is really glued together. The slot, you know, forms the location for the plexiglass. So. Uh, here with the plexiglass, you know, this is, um, is a 16th inch plexiglass, maybe an eighth inch, and I sanded one side to give it some opacity, you know, so I think that uh, is a, something to consider. These pieces, well, I started with the oak as the base, as, you know, the mass part of the model, and then created uh, some dovetail joints here, some grooves that these other pieces could fit into. These pieces fit very tight, and this one is a little looser. But you can see that um, the gap between these two accepts the plexiglass and holds this piece into position. So the only, I don't want you to think that uh, I don't use glue on models. I 